Hello Cancers, welcome to your mid-month reading. We're just peeking in and looking at your energies. This is a general reading, so it could be about love, family, friends, finance, business, career, however it resonates. If it does resonate, consider a personal reading. Rates, info, email, or below. Just send me an email, we can make that happen. Other things to mention, my 2019 Sun Moon readings are in my playlist, so go check your predictions out for 2019. Also, my 2018 are still in my playlist, so check those out too, see if they rang true for you. Um, compatibility readings I'll be working on those throughout the year just go to my playlist they're like a library okay I'm on the instant go app if you need a quick answer to a quick question I'm also on Facebook and Insta these are just really big cards those aren't jumpers um, and then other than that let's kind of get to it and see what's going on for you cancers okay so Holy Spirit Angels Divine Guides Universe can you please write your truth your wisdom your clarity energies for cancer middle of March what are their present energies present energies are the Queen of Earth and the upright can you please show me what their challenges are what are their challenges middle of March what are their challenges I thought I just heard my doorbell go off but I don't think so alrighty it doesn't matter anyways I'm not gonna answer my door uh, the Sun card in reverse Alrighty, and can you please show me what advice you have for Cancers, middle of March, what advice do you have for Cancers for middle of March? Okay, the page of air in reverse. Wow, I don't know why that would be advice, okay. And <laughs> moving forward, but we'll figure it out. Moving forward from this reading, what do you see for Cancers? Moving forward from this reading. How will Cancers move forward from this reading? How will Cancers move forward from this reading? Okay, the page of water in the upright. Um, I'm just checking something real quick because I'm gonna see what's going on with that page of swords in reverse. Hmm. Alrighty. There's something like weird going on here. Okay, so let me pick through it. I mean, I haven't even done clarifiers yet, so the, the clarifiers will be telling. I'll just we'll put down the first coat of paint and see what's going on. So present energies, we have the Queen of Earth here. I feel like um, for a lot of you guys are kind of doing your own thing. You're concentrating on. Um, Okay, you're kind of like in this single space right now. Nobody is kind of around you. You're working on um, counting on yourselves, relying on yourselves, um, being financially independent. So some of you, I see some of you are working. Um, you're either working at work or you're working on the home. You're, you're just trying to kind of build up a, like a very strong mountain for yourselves where you don't need anybody. Um, and it can be it can be in regards to any anything practical. So it could be finances or just your home. You know, you're deciding, okay, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna start learning how to fix things around the home, so I don't have to make that call to somebody. Um, I feel your energy is you don't want to rely on anybody, and and you just want to you want to do things on your own. You want to be able to handle things on your own. You want to be able to pay your own bills. You want to be able to take care of the kids on your own. You want to you want to be like this all encompassing total package kind of person. Okay. Um, they can kind of do it all and I feel like that's what you're kind of working on because I keep on getting um, either that you don't like counting on people or that you can't count on people so it's like one or the other okay now your challenge is that you're going through a little bit of a rough spot here um, and the reason why so the Sun can be about depression the Sun can be about sadness the Sun can be about you know just like that black cloud hanging over you um, it's still it's still a good card but it's just something affecting your outlook it's affecting your optimism or you're having a hard time finding you know being optimistic or finding positivity for some reason and I think it's because in part it's this Queen of Earth card because I feel like with this Queen of Earth for some of you you're, you're choosing to do things by yourself but then for others of you you have to okay so I feel like for some of you, somebody left your space or decided to leave your space, and it's kind of it's kind of weighing on you with the sun card, okay? Um, 
Because, I, I mean, the, the Queen of Earth, you know, I mean, part of it I got, some of you are like, yeah, I'm going to do this myself. I'm not going to need anybody. Um, but with the Sun card here, I'm feeling like we're going back to that thing where you can't count on people. So it's kind of bothering you a little bit. You don't have that extra person to help you out. I guess, I guess that's what I'm getting at. You don't have that extra person to help you out with things. Um, and you kind of wish that you did. You wish that you, you had that person around and it's kind of weighing on you a little bit. Um, that you have to do everything yourself. That you have to make your own money now. You know, that you have to concentrate on, on, on you being stable by yourself. You being your own mountain, okay? And it, wear, it wears on you every so often. Okay, I kind of like see this side, like, you know, I wish, I, I wish there was somebody that I could kind of like, you know what I mean? Like, they could help me out with this sometimes. That's what I'm feeling the challenge is. Now... We have the page of air here in reverse, okay? Now the page of air is somebody who really has a tendency to talk behind somebody's back. Um, that's what this this card usually is for me. Like somebody that just really needs attention, so they're talk, talking a whole bunch of crap behind your back. They're painting you out to be the bad person. Um, they can be manipulative. Um, they're, they're, they say things that aren't reliable, okay? They'll say things to people and it's dishonest. It can't be relied upon. Um, and sometimes it's even just like straight out slander. Okay. He's a gossip. All right. He spreads misconceptions and he's spreading misconceptions probably about you. Um, at his absolute worst, he could be really like really shady. Um, but the advice here is telling you to don't fuel his fire. Okay. Don't give this person anything that, that will help them um, keep on doing this, all right? And it is, I do feel like it's somebody doing this. Um, they, they're talking about you very badly, um, doing whatever they can to paint you in a bad light, okay? So the advice is to tell you, just don't react to it. Don't kind of do anything. Um, and the reason why is because I'm seeing the page of water next to it, meaning that they're gonna come to the realization how terrible they were about the things that they said to you, and then they could come. They could come forth with an apology and apologize for it. Okay, I think that this person might be the person that is no longer with you. Okay, this could be, and this could be a relationship. This could be a business partner that left. This could be a family member or what have you. That all of a sudden you have to do things on your own, and you're kind of sighing, wishing you didn't have to. But this person leaves, and then they have nothing but bad things to say about you. But then over with the page of wands, I'm getting that they feel very foolish or they have regrets later on because of what they said. And then they come forth because, I don't know, this girl, she kind of looks like she did something wrong. And I feel like she's coming back. I can never figure out what that is on her head for the life of me. I, <laughs> but I think it's a flower. Oh, I just hiccup. But I feel like they come back kind of with their tail between their legs and are like, you know what? I really shouldn't have said the things I said. I shouldn't have done the things that I, you know, I shouldn't have done the things that I did. I mean, that's what I'm kind of feeling. So can you please provide clarification on this Queen of Earth? Why is this Queen of Earth here? Who is this person? What is this energy? Additional messages for the Queen of Earth for Pisces. I mean, it's Pisces, it's Cancer. Who is this person? What is this energy? Why is this Queen of Earth here? Okay, and you have to be like this because there was some sort of ending. So there was a dissolution of a business partnership. Um, there was a uh, ending to a relationship. Um, okay, and I, I feel like this person could get nasty or got nasty. We have an emperor card are reversed. Oh, we got the lover's card here. So I, I'm getting that this is some kind of um, partnership you had with this person. So it could have been a relationship. Um, it's a connection you had with them. Okay, but it's over now with the Ten of Pentacles. I mean, the ten of, ten of Swords. It didn't, I don't feel like it ended well. And here you are kind of doing things by yourself. And um, the, the Emperor card is here saying that it's almost like this person wanted things to go a certain way, wanted them to go their way. Okay, with Emperor. He usually, you know, tries to put the, the screws to somebody and he, he's, he overuses his authority, tries to make something happen his way. Um... And it didn't turn out that way, I don't think. I was, th I was thinking of something else that here, but 
but that, that's what I'm getting. So I feel like this person's no longer in the picture. And they can be a little bit nasty, I feel like, almost. Um, but here you are, trying to do things. Or you think that you think that they're nasty. Um, or were nasty. And here you are, having to do everything for yourself. Because I don't feel like this person's in your space anymore. So, like I said, if it's a business partnership or whatever, you're the one that's going to have to say, say you were the, the salesperson, the other person was the accountant, and the accountant, like you know leaves or whatever and it doesn't end well then all of a sudden you have to take on all the accounting and the bookkeeping and stuff like that and rely on yourself but the this card is is the sun card to me is just you wish you wish it was different why is the sun card here in reverse who is this person what's this energy additional message for the sun card in reverse for cancer who is this person what is this energy high priestess in reversed And there is, I feel like there is somebody that actually, you know, has, has offered to help, but you've turned them down. Um, you've, you've blocked them. You're into it. Um, we have the high priestess here reverse. So I feel like somebody came along and tried to either offer to help you or offer to kind of be in your space or what have you. And you just kind of, you turn them down. You, you, you don't, you don't think that you didn't think you should get involved with this person um maybe they had bad advice a high priestess in reverse could be a bad advisor they lead you down the wrong path um i feel like they tried to help you and you were like no no thanks um you weren't interested but we had the death card which is the card of scorpio so that's that's rebirth okay um and i got another i hate it when i get something and then I try to hold on to it. It just disappears. It like slips out of my fingers. It's so frustrating. I think I'm losing my memory or something like that. Um, but yeah, so this, this person made an offer. So you wish there was somebody. Somebody came in. They were like, hey, I'll help you out. I'll give you this, whatever. You know, you need help with the business or it doesn't have to be a business. However it resonates. And you just weren't. You were like, no, that's all right. No, thanks. I have other things on my mind right now. Um, the way that you're kind of saying, you know, to do things isn't how I think things should be done or what have you. And with the death card, you move on. Um, you're, you're more focused on some sort of, um, you're focused on getting out from under this black cloud or, or this, this need to have somebody you're, you're doing this rebirthing. And, and I'm telling you a lot, of, I don't think for a lot of you, it's voluntary. I mean, it's just, it's just something you have to do. You have to move forward. It's not, it, there's not an option to go back is what I'm feeling like, especially with what I'm seeing over here. Um, but it's hard because you did have a connection with this person. At one time, you guys really vibed. So I think that's part of it. I also don't know why they're being so nasty. Um, can you please provide clarification on this page of air. Why is this page of air here? Who is this person? What is this energy? And the Lover's card, that's the card of Gemini for those of you. So we have Aries, Gemini, and Scorpio for those of you, if that resonates. I have a page of air here in reverse for advice. Who is this person? What is this energy? Wow, this person's shady as hell. Okay. Um, yeah, oh, they're pissed off because things didn't work out. That's why. So they're, they're pissed off. They're shooting off of the mouth because things didn't work out. They're doing it behind your back with that thief card. Um, and it didn't work out. You might you might have told this person they had to move out. You might have told them, uh, pack up your office things, you need to go. Um, they're being really bitter about it. So that's why they're talking crap about you because that's their way to kind of um, like release. You know, they don't want to take the blame for anything. So I, th I think they're angry and they're really upset. I mean... Things didn't go their way, and I feel like they're angry and they're upset. So then they're, they're talking crap behind your back that you don't know about. Um, or maybe you do know about it. And and they're just telling you in the advice column, don't pay any attention to it. Because the minute you pay attention to it, this person's going to know that they pushed your buttons. And then it just is going to start up a whole new cycle. Okay? So they're talking about you. And the hangman in reverse is kind of like, okay, you're feeling like the victim here. Um... Because that's a hangman, and you're kind of stuck like in this holding pattern, you know, while this person's kind of doing this. 
and you're just gonna have to wait it out okay um because they're gonna run out of steam eventually and it's weird because it's kind of like the Aries reading I have like don't do anything it's the same thing here like don't do anything it it's gonna be it'll make more sense to them if they discover what an ass they're being themselves, if they come to that conclusion themselves, that's going to have more impact than if you point it out to them. And they're not going to be receptive if you point it out to them anyway. So, I mean, I'm seeing like a, a bitter ex-business partner, a, a bitter ex. Um, yeah, they're, they're bitter and they're shooting off at the mouth. But I feel like you get your apology here. I think they come forth and they're like, you know what? Yeah, I understand now why things had to happen the way they do. I understand, you know, that it was hard on you too. Um, why is this page of wands? Water here in the upright for cancers as they move forward. Okay, because um, so they shot off of the mouth at everything. I think, and part of it, what they're going to tell you is that they they just, you know. It, it was a way of them dealing with how they felt. They felt like they were punished as part of it. Um, they felt like they didn't get any acknowledgement for things. They felt, they felt like you were punishing them, okay? Um, and that's why they kind of said the, the things that they did say. So the Eight of Cups, I see them coming back kind of with their tail between their legs, I feel like. Um, because they... They left in this way and they don't feel good about this, okay? They left without closure. So I feel like they return back to give you an apology and give you your closure. Um, but with the eight, I get like their tails between their legs. They're not, they're not real excited about doing it, but they know it's the right thing to do. And they tell you why they behave the way that they did. And then with the Nine of Swords, this allows you to come out of this, okay? And, and they need to deliver this apology so that they can come out of what they're kind of going through. If they don't make this right, then they know that they're just like gonna, you know, the universe is gonna be against them. You know what I mean? You know, how you, whatever you put out, you get back threefold. Like, I think they're having this realization. So they're not real happy about delivering this apology. They're not real happy about, you know, telling you this, but they go ahead and they do it anyway so that they can release their, their soul, so they can give you the closure that you need. Um, I really think that when they behave like this, they were just like out of their mind mad. Um, because like the Emperor card is here and he's he's just like, he gets crazy. Um, he, he gets he's ruthless and really mean. And, you know, here I think that, you know, they just like, they, they were trying to tear you down. But like I said, don't do anything, don't be reacted because they'll come back on their own. They'll realize how they were and they'll come back and apologize for everything with their tail between their legs, I feel like. All right, and then just keep on, keep on being the queen of earth here and doing what you have to do to get by and not rely on anyone or not need anybody because um, you couldn't count on this person for whatever reason. All right, there's a lot of messages in there, I feel like. I mean, there was a primary, but I feel like there we, things got um, a little weird here. Not weird, but they got messagey here in the sun card. All right, so if this uh, resonates with you, consider personal reading, rates, info, email, or below. Just send me an email. We can work that out. Uh, otherwise, check out my playlist. They're like my library. Tons of stuff in there for you. And then finally, I'll see you guys mid-month. No, I'll see you April for your love readings. Adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye.